Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Just looking at this fraud. Yeah. <laughs> There's what's known as the affiliate click fraud. Oh, committed by a third party who agrees to host the ad in exchange for payment based on the number of clicks. <laughs> click fraud is a scheme in which a person or a robot repeatedly clicks on a merchant's pay-per-click advertisement <laughs> on a website for purposes of viewing the website or making a purchase. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know, when you think about the amount of advertising revenue that Facebook gets, <laughs> Seem like there's a lot of dating profiles, and that's not against the law. I know a lot of women want to date me. <laughs> but most all the actual profiles that have a advertisement that you could click. When you go through the IP addresses of every profile, yes, and then you group them according to nation that they originated from, yes. <laughs> I'd like to know of every advertisement that can be clicked on so as to generate some advertising revenue for Facebook, <laughs> as well as some advertising <laughs> revenue for the individual that clicks on them. <laughs> now, you know all those email addresses that I have that I haven't been using today? <laughs> Let's say that I've been quite the proponent of email addresses because of the number of emails that I've sent. Yes. Outlook email addresses. Hotmail email address. Yahoo email address. Uh, Mail.com email address. And then there's a Gmail email address. It could be that I've been advertising for advertisers that if somebody else opened their email account because of my posting of my emails on Facebook. <laughs> could have been advertising email accounts that other persons didn't realize. Now, I haven't seen a lot of people put their own their own emails on Facebook. Yes, yes, yes. Because sometimes I'll spend hours just looking at the pictures, kind of guesstimating the breast sizes, reading the various posts. 